Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back for another video, and today we're going to be reacting to Black Adder's Best Insults by Nationality. I've reacted to Black Adder before on this channel, and I find it hilarious. Uh, we still have to react to full episodes, I gotta get around to that. If I do, it'll be on the Patreon, if you want to join that, it's the first link in the description. Um, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe, and comment some suggestions down below. Let's get right into it. And I can almost guarantee that the French will be in this video. So, let's go. Oh no, the bloody Russians have pulled out of the war. <laughs> well, we soon saw them off and waiter. Miserable, slant-eyed, sausage-eating swine. <laughs> the Russians are on our side. <laughs> well, that hit, that hit a little too close to home there, didn't it? Yikes. Terrible stuff going on in Ukraine. I, I, I made a video on that if you want to check that out, by the way. So the show's canceled? Permanently? But what about the men's morale, sir, with the Russians out of the war and everything? Oh, for goodness sake, Blackadder, have you been living in a cave? The Americans joined the war yesterday. So how is that going to improve the men's morale, sir? <laughs> oh, because, you gibbering imbecile, they brought with them the largest collection of Charlie Chaplin films in existence. <laughs> <laughs> George, are you trying to tell me that you are the general's perfect woman? Well, yes, I rather think I am. <laughs> I'm going to marry her on Saturday, and I want you to be my best man. <laughs> I don't think that would be a very good idea, sir. And why not? Because there's something wrong with your fiance, sir. <laughs> oh, my God, she's not Welsh, is she? <laughs> Have you ever been to Wales, Warren? No, but I've often thought I'd like to. Well, don't. It's a ghastly place. <laughs> Huge gangs of tough, sinewy men roam the valleys, terrifying people with their close harmony singing. <laughs> you need half a pint of phlegm in your throat just to pronounce the place name. <laughs> Lying. Never ask for directions in Wales, Baldick. You'll be washing spit out of your hair for a fortnight. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Hey, shout out to all the Welsh viewers out there, though. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> You're not lying there. Some of the names and the pronunciations are a little interesting, we'll say. Oh, the French. Here we go. I, the Duke the Darling, bring news. The English have reached Waterloo. Good, prepare to attack. Very well. Uh, but first, I would like to ask, why do we want to invade Britain in the first place? I mean, their wine is made of the pee-pee of cows, and their women all have big beards. We invade, darling, because the British think they are so tough. They think we French are sissies, they call us weeds and whoopsies and big girls' blouses. With respect, my emperor, we are whoopsies. We invented the tapestry, the souffle, and the sweet liqueur. We will be slaughtered the minute we mince up the hill. Do not despair. It is my firm belief that God hates the British. He will intervene miraculously and send us a glorious victory on this field of Waterloo. Go oh, bravo! A lovely uniform today, by the way. Oh, thank you. I think it works. <laughs> there have been subversive mutterings amongst the men. You'll recall the French army last year at Verdun, where the top echelon suffered from horrendous uprisings from the bottom. <laughs> yes, sir, but surely that was traced to a shipment of garlic eclairs. <laughs> Bonjour, monsieur. It's French. So is eating frogs, cruelty to geese, and urinating in the street. <laughs> but there's no reason to inflict it on the rest of us. <laughs> have a cup of coffee and some shepherd's pie, please. Oh, we don't serve pies anymore. My French clientele consider pies uncooked. Now, how do they think that a nation that eats snails and would go to bed with the kitchen sink if it put on a tutu <laughs> is in any position that treats cuteness? If you would excuse me a moment. Of course, of course. Now I've got my lovely fire, I'm as happy as a Frenchman who's invented a pair of self-removing trousers. <laughs> it's the latest issue of King and Country. Oh, damn inspiring stuff. The magazine that tells the Tommies the truth about the war. 
Or alternatively, the greatest work of fiction since vows of fidelity were included in the French marriage service. <laughs> I oh, my believed. God. A German prison cell. For two and a half years, the Western Front has been as likely to move as a Frenchman who lives next door to a brothel. <laughs> and last night, the Germans advance a mile and we land on the wrong side. We all it. We're both working class. We both hate these rich bastards. I mean, come on. Come on, me old mucker. Just, just, just let me go. You've got nothing against me. <laughs> on the contrary, I hate you English with your boring trousers and your shiny toilet paper <laughs> and your ridiculous preconceptions that Frenchmen are great lovers. I'm French, and I'm hung like a baby carrot to the cup of... <laughs> oh, my God. Well, well, old mucker. I'm death to the Aristos! Death to the Aristos! Shut up, Brain. Okay, so one thing you should notice is there are a lot of clips there. And that's because Blackadder, if there's one thing for certain, they're going to make fun of the French. The part I find the funniest is, like, the talking in the French accent, and it's not even French. It's just English. <laughs> it's hilarious. All right, here we go, the Germans. Uh-oh. She is famous for having the worst personality in Germany. And as you can imagine, that's up against some pretty stiff competition. <laughs> now then, soldier, you looking forward to giving those Frenchies a damn good licking? Uh, no, sir. It's the Germans we should be licking, sir. Don't be revolting, Dan. <laughs> I wouldn't lick a German if he was glazed in honey. <laughs> I've heard what these Germans will do, sir. They'll have their wicked way with anything a woman born. Well, in that case, Baldrick, you're quite safe. <laughs> However, the Teutonic reputation for brutality is well founded. Their operas last three or four days. Oh. They have no word for fluffy. Wow, that's I'm terrible. I'm Oberlegsman von Gerhard. I have a message from the Baron von Richthofen, the greatest living German. Which, considering his competition consists entirely of very fat men in leather shorts burping to the tune of Shiba coming round the mountain, <laughs> is no great achievement. <laughs> Battle. Okay, here we go, here we go. Started because of the vile Hun and his villainous empire building. George, the British Empire at present covers a quarter of the globe, while the German Empire consists of a small sausage factory in Tanganyika. <laughs> I hardly think that we can be entirely absolved from blame on the imperialistic front. Uh, oh, no, no, sir, absolutely not. Man's a bicycle. <laughs> and no casual girlfriend. Skirt. If only. When I joined up, we were still fighting colonial wars. If you saw someone in a skirt, you shot him and nicked his country. <laughs> and yet, sometimes you sound as if you very well haven't enjoyed soldiering at all. Well, you see, George, I did like it. Back in the old days, when the prerequisite of a British campaign was that the enemy should, under no circumstances, carry guns. <laughs> Even spears made us think twice. The kind of people we like to fight were two feet tall and armed with dry grass. <laughs> oh, now, come off it, sir. What about Mboto Gorge, for heaven's sake? Yes, that was a bit of a nasty one. 10,000 Watusi warriors armed to the teeth with kiwi fruit and guava heart. <laughs> After oh. the battle, instead of taking prisoners, we simply made a huge fruit salad. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, he's not lying there. He's, you have to admit. You have to admit. Come on. Everyone be real. How lucky you English are to find the toilet so amusing! <laughs> For us, it is a mundane and functional item. For you, it's the basis of an entire culture. <laughs> Alright. See, this is interesting. There appears to be a large orange hedge moving towards us. Uh, that's not a hedge, Consul. That's the Scots. That's hilarious. All right. Those were Blackadder's best insults by nationality. Um, I really enjoyed that. I, I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I did, but the French stuff was hilarious, and I think the British, probably the British stuff was the funniest to me just because I could relate to it most. Obviously, they use a lot of, uh, there's a lot of pop culture references and things like that that I don't understand just because I wasn't, probably wasn't even around when Blackadder was really airing. Maybe I was. I don't even know the dates, so I don't know what I'm saying. But I really enjoyed that. Make sure you guys comment some recommendations in that comment section down below. Um, smash the like button and hit that subscribe button as well. We're on the way to 40,000 subscribers. 
If you'd like to follow my Instagram, it is at itsjpsyt. The link is in the description. And like I said at the start, please consider joining my Patreon. I would really appreciate that. Thanks for all the support recently, and I will catch you in the next video.